Welcome back to MMA Surge. I'm the Squid. Today we're gonna go over Johnny Hendricks' knockout of Martin Kamen at UFC 154. I don't know if you guys saw it, it was pretty awesome, so I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. All right, let's bring Simon in. So, let's pretend I'm Johnny Hendricks and Simon is Martin Kampman. So Johnny Hendricks is a southpaw, he stands with his right foot forward, and he's a wrestler with a lot of power. So, what happened in the fight, you know, when you fight a guy like Johnny Hendricks, you know, you watch his older fights, you see that he throws big power punches, but he wrestles as well. So, Johnny knows that people watch his fights and uses this to his advantage. So, he's really good at lowering his, changing his levels. He makes you think that he's possibly going for a takedown, or he makes you think you're going for a punch and he goes for a takedown. So you, you're always confused when you're fighting Johnny and you always have to watch out for his big punches. So in the fight, Johnny, it happened very early. Johnny threw a looping hook that missed and he kept his stance and he threw this super powerful cross. He just turned and put all of his power. Like if you watch, it doesn't look be a lot of power, but if you see the look on his face, he's thrown with everything he has. So. When I do this, I throw this looping hook that drops his hand, and that's my power punch right there, that cross. So let's stand over here, Simon. So, so I'm here in the southpaw stance. So you're gonna look to throw this looping hook to, to get this hand to drop, and you're gonna look to send your cross straight down the middle while your right hand blocks your face and land the guy, land the strike on the chin. So when you practice with your partner, you know, go back and forth with this. The thing that um, Cameron did that, I don't want to say it was wrong, but it's what led to his knockout is, so getting into a southpaw stance, so, when uh, Johnny Hendricks threw this hook, Cameron tried to parry it and completely missed the parry. So he was here and his face was completely open. So even though you have this right hand to block with, there's still this whole side of your face wide open. So my suggestion for Cameron would be, when, when the guy throws that big hook, I'm a big fan of keeping your hands a little tighter to your face. If I see something that's coming a little loopy, I'm always, I'm always blocking. And when I block, you want to keep your eyes on your opponent. You want to keep your eyes just so you can watch another strike. I can either slip, block, or even shoot for a takedown. So, so after he dropped Martin Campman, he did the right thing. He jumped right on top of him and finished him. You know, guys like Campman, they recover very fast. You know, when you're, when you're well conditioned, you recover fast. So, boom, boom, and he goes down. When Hendricks did good, he, he went on him. But what he didn't do, he didn't throw punches from in here. He got really high to the outside and threw a strike there. So just in case Campman recovered, he's still in a position to finish him. All right, so let's recap this Johnny Hendricks knockout. So Johnny Hendricks has this southpaw stance. He's moving, he throws this looping hook that gets Campman to drop his hands. And basically, he throws it right from, right from the side, almost like right from the gun chamber. He throws this hook, and he throws it as hard as he can. So when you throw that cross, this hook is gonna get you to cover a little distance, and you're a little closer to throw that cross. So just put a lot of power into it. It's a very basic combo, but you see a top wrestler can knock out a top striker with one of the first combos you learn. So practice this over and over. So that was a knockout from UFC 154. If you guys like that one, be sure to subscribe to our channel. We'll be doing many more breakdowns from all the top fights today. I'm The Squid, and I'll see you next time on MMA Surge.